Welcome back to the O&D Life, where we get orange and dirty. However, today, I've got something orange and clean to show you. Hey guys, welcome back to the O&D Life. Today, I'm putting the pins back in on my bucket. Why, you ask? You're about to find out. Alright, so first off... Put on my gloves, try and keep my hands from getting too greasy. We'll mention, in case I start to swell up mid uh, video and have to go take a Benadryl, it's because I just got stung by a yellow jacket. So, hopefully I don't start swelling up. Alright, let's get this down here a little bit. Okay, got the pin ready. Got my little Kubota magnetic tray to hold my bolts and nuts. Slide that in, pretty simple. Without the Kubota quick attach system, Nothing this is good. where your loader arms would attach to the bucket with these pins that have a bolt going through the bucket and pin. This would be fine until you wanted a grapple or forks then taking the bolt out and the pins out of the two sides in the middle would get old. Okay, here it is. It's the uh, Tony Ashwell Quick Attach System from AI2. Um, get you a shot at the front here. Kind of a neat, neat little system. We'll get into it a little more, but uh, let's get it put together. So with the Kubota Quick Attach, the outside pins in the bucket were left out. This is so that you can line up the middle hook, if you will, to, to the middle pin on the bucket and then start to lift it and curl it and then the outside um, parts of the bucket would kind of fall into place um, on the quick hitch quick attach but then you'd have to put a pin through the quick attach and the bucket line up all those holes and uh, sometimes they went right in but a lot of times you had to uh, manhandled the bucket a little bit or the grapple just a little bit to uh, get the holes to line up and put that pin through so there was definitely some room for improvement I, I even did a video on what I do is I, I lift it up to waist level so that that way I can you know try and manhandle that bucket just a little to get those pins in rather than trying to do it low on the ground and hurting my back so like I said there was room for improvement and that's exactly what Tony over there at AI2 did is he made a system where you didn't have to line up the holes and and try and thread a pin through basically you leave the pins in the bucket you hook it with that metal hook lift it up and let it kind of fall into the little mouth there you can kind of see on the side and then you put a pin that goes in front of it basically and keeps it from coming out along with a keeper pin so a little bit easier um, don't have to line up those holes the other awesome thing about his system <laughs> it's the simple things is that when you take out the pin that he has on his and the keeper um, he has holes cut out in the quick attach so that you can put them in there. You don't have to find a spot for them. You don't have to stick them in your pocket or lose them. So they go on that quick attach. The, the little things, I tell you. So there's a good story. He has a good story on his website on the About Us um, tab. And kind of talks about how back in 2008-ish, he had a friend that wanted a set of forks built for 
his 50 series BX, I believe it was. And so he made it, realized there's a need for a quick attach. And so he and his brother, they worked on that. And the first one was made, figured they wouldn't be much of a need, but they made a YouTube video. And sure enough, the, the rest is history. Now he's got multiple products, so definitely check out his website. Okay, here's some video footage of it being used. There, I'm pulling the pins out, so I've already attached my bucket. I'm getting ready to drop my bucket, so I'm, I pulled the keeper pin out, pulled the main pin out, slipped them into the little spot on the top of the quick attach and then drop the bucket as it turns out I had a little 4x4 block in the bucket and just prior I had kind of tilted it down and it dumped out and so the I was laying the bucket down on top of that block so that's why it was sitting funny but here's another shot of uh, when I'm dropping the bucket when there's not a block underneath it causing it to go off kilter there's a little bit of a learning curve that goes with this I found that um, you know my muscle memory from using the Kubota quick attach um, just needed to be altered just a little bit you know have to let it lower down a little more need to seems like pick it up more first before curling it here with the grapple, it was actually riding on top of the little mouth, the outside pin there. And uh, as I curled it back, it ended up falling into position. But, um, you know, just a, there's a little bit of a learning curve there, it seems like. And I, I need it anyway. A shot of a bucket. Picking it up now. There we go. And then I think I'm going to move the camera into a position. Show you. Putting those pins in. They just do. Sorry about my elbow. But you can, uh, they just drop down into the slot. And then you put the keeper pin in. You latch it. But there's no manhandling of the bucket or the grapple. So I like that saving my back and you know my daughter could do it the other way around um, with the Kubota system there's the potential that she wouldn't be able to get the pins in or my wife even. so much easier system and so you guys uh, get a sneak peek of one of my upcoming videos on the the pallet forks that we got for the Kubota if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen some pictures already, so it's not a, it's not a surprise for you guys. But I'm going to do a video um, talking about why I chose the uh, pallet forks from AI2, from Tony, mainly because they're lighter. They're a lot lighter. He, he, he knows the lift capacities of the uh, BX and knows that you can't make something so heavy that then you're left with not being able to pick anything up with your forks. So, I mean, it's a lighter system. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so that'll be a video coming up. Seems like I'm promising you guys a lot of videos, but they'll be coming. Getting kind of backed up. But I thought you guys might uh, like hearing about the uh, quick attach system and learn a little bit more about it. Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. 
not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor-related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it, or the attachments, or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had, and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links. They're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty living the O&D life. O&D out.